Renaissance is a period from the early 1300s to roughly 1600 where there was a renewed interest in history, literature, and art. It broke away from the medieval time period and expressed a renewed interest in Greek and Roman ideals. One of the many path-breaking individuals to have come from this generation is Albrecht Dürer. Albrecht Dürer was a German painter, engraver, and printmaker born on May 21, 1471. He was born in Nuremberg, the second son of his parents who had 14 children and 18 children between the both of them. His father, a goldsmith, wished that Dürer continue in the family business. However, Dürer found himself interested in art and became an apprentice to German painter Marc Wolschmark at the age of 15. Throughout his life, his visits to numerous places in Europe, such as Italy and the Netherlands, influenced his artwork. He learned new mediums and techniques and had a variety of inspiration to create his pieces. Dura died at the age of 56 in his hometown. He is buried in the Johannes Friedhof Cemetery. The oil on oil painting, Adam and Eve, is one of Dura's most recognizable paintings. It depicts Adam and Eve, the first man and woman, according to Abrahamic religions, fully nude. This was the first full-body nude German painting. The artwork displays many Renaissance techniques. Sfumato is used throughout the image through the blending of the shades of beige and brown in order to show the depth and dimension of the bodies of Adam and Eve. Chiaroscuro is utilized through the contrast of the pale form of Eve to the dark black background, adding an illusion of three-dimensionality. Force shortening is additionally utilized through Eve's right foot, which cannot fully be seen, adding depth to the artwork. Contraposto is evident in the artwork through Adam's weight being rested on his right foot. Renaissance characteristics present in the image include the return of the appreciation of the human form and Greek and Roman stylistic techniques. The painting can be found in Museo del Prado, Madrid. The pen drawing the stork depicts a stork said to arrive at the homes of families to deliver their children. The artwork showcases fumado in the blending of the shades of white, gray, and black throughout the drawing. Certain areas include the beak and the wings of the stork to create the illusion of depth and dimension. Churros Guros is illustrated through the contrast of the black and white in the feathers of the stork, additionally adding interest and dimension. Renaissance characteristics such as the return to naturalism and realism are effectively portrayed in the drawing. Currently, the drawing is located in the Musée de l'Excelle in Brussels. The watercolor painting The Willow Mill illustrates the Willow Mill scenery. The image encompasses many Renaissance techniques. Sumato is used by blending shades to create depth in areas such as the leaves in the tree, the smoke in the air, the color of the sky, as well as the detailing of the buildings. Cheerus Girls is also depicted. The black of the smoke and clouds in the air contrasts with the light colors and shades blended together in the sky and the sea. This painting does a meticulous job creating the illusion of a three-dimensionality through the use of perspective. The painting conveys the characteristics of Renaissance, such as realism and the return of architecture. The painting is hung in Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris. Durer's painting, Young Hair, is often acknowledged as one of the greatest masterpieces of all time because of its photographic accuracy, keeping in mind the time period it was created. The painting displays fumado throughout the coat of the hair and the detail to every strand of fur, blending colors and shades to achieve depth and dimension. Chiroscuros is utilized through the contrast between the light background and the darker hair in terms of its coat color and its eyes. The painting returns to the characteristic of realism that the generation conveyed as well as the glorification of nature. It can currently be found at Grafisch, Samlung, Albertina, Vienna. There are countless painters of the Renaissance and Albrecht Dürer has left his mark on the world. He is perhaps most known for his high quality woodcuts which are now called master prints. Woodcutting is a printing technique where the artist carves an image onto a block of wood. This established his reputation and influence across Europe while he was still in his 20s and therefore he has been conventionally regarded as the greatest artist of the Northern Renaissance. His vast body of work includes altarpieces, religious works, numerous portraits and self-portraits, and copper engravings. His watercolor pieces also mark him as one of the first European landscape artists, while his ambitious and ornate woodcuts revolutionized what was expected of them, as he conjured up pieces that were miraculously done. Albrecht's artwork displayed Renaissance ideals such as renewed interest in the human body, the glorification of nature, the intricate detail displayed in his realism pieces, and the return of the Greek and Roman ideals. As a result, Dürer has had huge influence on painters of each generation after him and will continue to do so for many years to come.